gills. We're going to work our way from the gills into the in insides of the salmon. So first things first, you're going to take one of your one of your knives and you're going to open up. You're going to. So you're going to open up the gills here. Oh yeah. So everybody, want you know, pull back the. So what is this organ? This part of the fish called the operculum. Yeah. So I want you to come into the operculum. I want you to pull up the gills, and then I want you to come in. But watch your. This is where you got to be really careful because you got to come in here. And you got to cut the gills out without cutting your fingers. So the way the way I the way I like to do it is going in actually where it starts and then you're going to need to cut actually around it at the base like here so that you can actually pull pull it out so there's there's connections that are in the front of the gills and as well as the very back so once I've got it here I'll show you all right, did everybody see how I did that? No. Here's the gills. So you pull that operculum back and you cut at the front. You start at the front here and then cut down around the inside of the gill where it's, <laughs> where it's connected to the rest so that you have then your gills. Trouble, but like, your neighbor helped them. It looks like you guys are cutting a little too. You guys have to yeah. It looks like Walmart's not even doing it right. You're cutting all of them at once. No, no, no. You got it? You got it? You good? You got it? I don't know which side is. Sharp knife. Oh, you're just supposed to cut one. You'll film this work is that, like your lungs, they have a lot of surface area. So every one of these filaments, water will pass over. And if our water has a good amount of dissolved oxygen in it, over 100% in most cases, that's going to be great. But the reason why there's all this blood on here, as well as there's all these filaments, is because the, the fish gills are maximizing surface area to absorb as much oxygen out of that water as possible. So that's why you know we have four of these filaments, and that's why they're so dissected. And what is in the filament? What are those coils called? Uh, no. Capillaries. Lamellas. We got the lamella that contain the capillaries. The capillaries is actually where the exchange is happening, right? O2 for CO2. Right, exactly. So when everybody's got those out, we'll move on to the next piece, which is we'll actually open our fish up. Let me demonstrate to you how to cut the vent. So, yeah, Brendan is a is an avid fisherman, so he's done this a couple times. But what ultimately he's doing here is he's opening up up the fish so that we're not. You need the serrated knife too. That might work. He's starting at the anus, right? The anus, yeah. Okay, that, that's the entryway. Good. Which is where also, very close to the anus is where, the, where when we were at the hatchery, when we were milking and, and pulling the eggs out, that's, you know, the reproductive organs are also near the anus. So in that ventral part of the fish, right down almost by the, um, by the ventral fin, right? <laughs> well, open it. The fish in the back is gonna have is gonna have the eggs and the female reproductive organs. Everybody else is gonna be looking to find the gonads of the males, which are gonna be right up in in front. They should be pretty pretty deflated at this point. Um, you guys can see up here on the camera, it's going to look kind of whitish. Yeah. Uh, they're whitish. actually quite a large part. Is that, oh, it's this. So you can see here. And you want to cut those gonads out. Oh, that is disgusting. This size an appreciation for how these fit, how much sperm and egg these fish carry and how, how much of their life is dependent on reproducing. Look at this. This this is just one of the two male gonads. It's deflated. And it's deflated. It doesn't have anything left in it. But that when that was full, it probably took up, you know, over 50% of the fish's internal anatomy. 
So that's a pretty, pretty wild, wild little piece. Of kind of reach. I want to be gentle, and you can actually pull it. Just like that. And he's like he's nasty. So why don't you um? Why don't you pull that step off the tray, off the plate, and we'll put it on the. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put, want to take my glove? It was dark. I want to get it. <laughs> oh, uh, this one? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that is the other one. Oh, yeah, we're going to see. Look at, you can see some of the sperm still in there. You guys probably saw it coming out of the salmon, the bright red, or dark red, I should say. The spleen, very good. So, the, what does the spleen do? Is this just spleen? It's a filter for the blood. Exactly. So, you can tease it out too. A lot of this stuff you can just pull out by hand. But you can yeah. see that that's where spleen looks like. Everybody I'm not used to doing dirty work. It looks like cranberry sauce. Yeah, it, there you go. Hey, it's getting closer to Thanksgiving. We can be thankful that we have cranberry sauce. Eyes up, please. You guys, eyes up here on me and Brandon. So next up, we're going to actually be working with the digestive tract, which is this. You guys see it's probably the last thing that's in, uh, in front of your swim bladder. But this. You just kind of cut it out. So we're going to cut it all the way back to so where it connects to the body. That's that's where the intestines end. It's getting close to the anus. So you cut there, and then you cut towards the, towards the front of it. This is the, uh, you'll see like a long, hard, there's, you know, there's a long, hard, um, yeah, here, I'll, so, you see like a spaghetti type like thing, right? A long, a long intestine and then the stomach. It's three parts. Try to get the whole thing together. Try to get the spaghetti thing, the long tube, and the stomach together. So this is the stomach. This is all that is left of the stomach after they've been journeying so long. They're not concerned with eating. You could see how concerned they are with mating, though. But this is the throat here, where it connects at the top. And then down, as it runs down, this is the stomach. This is the intestine. And then, and then, oh, there's some poop. And then here's the pyloricica. The spaghetti thing is a pyloricica. Yeah, yeah, please stop saying spaghetti. I'm, I'm never eating spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> the pyloricica is like the small intestines in your body. It secretes enzymes and also absorbs nutrients. <laughs> uh, what someone asked, what is the liver? Nine minutes morning. How about it? Thank you. What is this? Is that still the stomach? Does that is the liver. So that's part of Got the it. Part the of liver the is the biggest organ in that body. Right. The Besides no, the donut. Yes. So yeah, there's, there's, actually, like, yeah. there's actually two parts to the liver as well in, some, in these fish. So you can see here Brandon and I have two two pieces of the liver here. Uh, yeah. 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 The heart is going to be closer to the head. Um, Brandon, everybody watch Brandon right now. He's going to pull out the heart. And it's a little triangular piece that looks, you know, just think, just think all that blood that we're looking at here, it's all pumped through this whole fish, through this little heart. So you can see you can see how you know what a workhorse that little organ is. Just like with us, you know, it's about proportional. Um, it's little on the outside, but it's And where is the heart closest to? It's the same size. No, where is the heart closest to? The gills, right? That makes sense. I think I got it. Our heart's close to our lungs. Their heart close to their gills. Uh, because it is so fine, but this is an example of it right here. We destroyed, we destroyed the heart. We broke it before we could get to it. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. I'm so We don't have like be below where the swim bladder is. You'll see this dark section in here. This is the kidney. So with this, you want to take your spoon. I'm going to borrow yours. Um, and you're actually, this one you're going to want to kind of scrape out like a Halloween pumpkin. Oh, okay. Or, or you can use your fingers. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Whoever made that is smart. What's that? Whoever made that is smart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
always just telling these guys that I have a belay knife that has a spoon on the other end.